All right, what happened? Why are you picketing Alexander Auto? Because I was ripped off. What happened? I bought a car here on May 10th. Uh-huh. That was my birthday. Yeah. What kind of car did you buy? I bought a 2007 Dodge um, Caliber. Okay. What is it with you girls in that car? Women love Dodge Calibers. I don't get it. I know. I loved it when I yeah. when I saw it. So what happened? Um, well, when I when I looked at the car, mm -hmm. we noticed there was a crack on the uh, passenger side. Mm -hmm. And I asked him before I signed the papers, will you get this fixed? He says, yes, I'll get it fixed. Just come in Monday, I'll order the part, and I'll come in. Who, who said that? Alexander Otto, John. John, okay. Okay, so I came in that Monday. Then uh, he said to me, he said that um, I don't have the part in right now, but you can come tomorrow and the part will be here. So I said, okay, I'll be here first thing in the morning. So I did, mm -hmm. following Tuesday. I came in and uh, he got one of the guys in the back, one of his workers that cleans the car and he put the part on mm -hmm. and then when he was done finishing the part, uh, he went to touch the buttons mm -hmm. on each side it wouldn't work. So Alexander Otto John said, well take it to Benson mm -hmm. and get them to look at it and see where the problem's coming from. So I went and took it to Benson. So that was fine. I was at Benson. I was there for two and a half hours. They looked at it and they looked at it. They, they looked at it for two hours. Uh, they said they're, they're, there's a problem, but we can't find it right now because they think there's a, a, a corroding. Was it electrical? Yes, electrical. Okay. And they said, uh, we're going to call back Benson. I mean, call back Alexander Otto and see what he says. So when they did, he says to them, I'm not putting any more money into this car. Get her to just stick out her hand out the window and just it herself. Okay, that was fine. After two weeks, we started getting all this rain. We had rain coming for at least a week at a time, whatever. And I noticed in the back seat of my passenger side, no, on the driver's side, sorry, on the driver's side, on the floor, there was two inches of water. Oh, jeez. It was coming up from the floor. I didn't know where it was. So, I let it go for a couple of days, and then all of a sudden, it kept, I soaked it up, and it kept filling up again. So, I went and called Alexander Auto again. Uh, Did you get a warranty with the car? I, got, I had a warranty, but it was a 30-day warranty. And okay. Exactly the 30-day warranty when I did the complaint. Okay. So he says, "Well, I'll tell you what. Bring the car in on Monday. This okay. is Monday to just pass." He says, "I'll get it looked at at Benson." I said, "Okay." I said, "Well, well did he say why Benson's instead of the Chrysler dealership, which is only a block away?" He deals away? with Benson. All his cars that okay. he does, he takes it to Benson's. Okay. So that's why. I said, okay. I said, well, I'm going to have to rent a car now because i got to go to work at 2.30. So I rented a car. Was it not driving or just because they were taking it for the they day? They were taking it for the day to go to Benson. So he didn't give you a loan or anything? No. Okay. I had to come good with that. Okay. So anyways, I said, okay, took the Benson. I called the next. He says, call at 4.30 that afternoon on Monday at 4.30. So I did from work. I said, well, how is the car going? Oh, he says, um, it's going good. He says, I uh, got it looked after, and uh, they vacuumed the floor, and they blow-dried it, and that's it. And I said, okay. So the next, I said, okay, I'm going to pick it up tomorrow morning. As soon as I get get up out of bed, I'll get mm -hmm. it. I'm going to pick it up. So Tuesday of this week, I said, just before I pick up my car, I'm going to call Benson mm -hmm. and see if the car was in there. So I called Benson up. I said, um, yes, I'm calling about a 2007 Dodge Caliber. Was it in this morning to be fixed of the leak of the car? And they said, what are you talking about? I said, the 2000 from Alex Ad Alexandra. He was supposed to bring, he says, she says, there's no car that came in here. Wow. I said, what? I said, are you serious? There was no car that came in here. I said, are you repeating yourself again? Can you repeat it? She says, yeah. So, okay, I hung up the phone, I got my daughter, I said, Stephanie, call Alexandra Auto, see what's going on. So she called Alexandra Auto, 
She says to Alexander Otto, she said, Yes, I'm calling about the 2000 Dodge 7 car uh, caliber. Uh, did it come from Benson? So John from Alexander said, Yes, it did come from Benson. Uh, are you sure? She repeated it two more times. Did it come from Benson? He says, Yes. Then she says, I caught you in a lie. Mm -hmm. And then he turns around, You come and get your keys and don't call here again. He hung up the phone. So me and my daughter came down, picked up my car. My daughter fronted him. Mm -hmm. Where did you get this car fixed? I don't have to tell you anything. I said, where did you get the car fixed? You just said on the phone three times that you took it to Benson. Mm -hmm. He says, I don't have to say, say anything. He says, I want you off my property. So where, said, where's the car now? The car's parked on the road over there. Okay. So he told us to get off the property. I said, I'm not getting off the property until the police officer comes here. I want to explain my case. He said, so, cops came, so, that was it. The cops came and they said, well, the best thing for you to do is to get her taken to small claims yep. court and this and that. And I asked the officer, can I pick it? He says, yes, you can. You can pick it all you want so, as long as you're not interfering with his So business. what is it that you want from Alexander I Otto? I want my money back. I want the money back because I'm not pleased with this car. It's a one month old car, a little over one month old car. Did, did you ask him to take it back? Yes, the day that I went and picked it up. Okay. And what did he say? He just, he wouldn't say nothing to us. He just, he was so shocked because we caught him in a lie. Okay. He just didn't know what to say because he was, we got him so stunned. Did he, did he offer you another vehicle instead no, of the one? No, he didn't. He didn't offer me nothing. He just said, get off my property. Don't you come back here again. Okay. That's exactly what he said. So it proves right there. That he's mm -hmm. guilty. He's guilty. Right. And all I'd want is my money back. He can have the car, and I'll never deal with him again. Never. All right. This wasn't the first time that this he's done it to people that mm -hmm. went there to Alexandria. He's done it to many people that lives in Marsburg and Cornwall. But but if you had known that, why would you buy a car from it? If that's the case, if that's true. We didn't know that. I didn't know she was going to buy it. She's my sister. Okay. So, but when I found out, it was too late to sign the papers. Mm -hmm. And I mentioned it to her. Where's she going to buy nothing? She said, oh, my goodness. So, are you, are, have you figured out what's wrong with the car yet? No, I didn't take it in yet. Okay. Are you going to take it to the Chrysler dealership? I'm going to take it to some mechanic to look at it. Okay. But the wires, the, 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 um, did you figure out how the water was coming in? Is there a hole in the floor? There's got to be a hole or something coming in because how would the water come in? Okay. It's only when it rains. Right. That's the only time we get a bad leak is only when it rains. All right. Well, I'm going to go over and see if John wants to say anything and get his side. And um, Have you ever picketed before? I mean, it's, it's very before. rare to see someone picketing a, a car dealership. Because you know what? This I had so many people tell me, Shirley, no one ever did it. Mm -hmm. It's about time. He's if people's got to do this. You got to fight. You got to fight. People won't fight. Some people don't. They just walk away, and the dealerships get away with get it. Away with it. Mm -hmm. It happens to be the time that my sister and I decided to do this. So, how long have you guys been picketing? Since this morning. Since nine. this morning at nine o'clock. Yeah. And, and are you going to stay here the whole day? Or? Until about uh, 1 o'clock. And I'm coming back tomorrow. Okay. Coming back tomorrow. So you're going to keep coming back until they give you your money back? Well, I'm going to come back for until at least Until he decides what he's going to do. Okay. Take her, my sister, to her, that's fine. <laughs> what, what if he just said, okay, we'll bring it to the Chrysler dealership and let them fix it up? That's fine. That's fine? It's fine with me. All right. And, and, the, and all the stuff that's wrong with that car. Yep, for sure. Did it, was it safety? As far as I know, it was safety. Okay, well, you've got a license plate on it, so you couldn't get that done without a yeah, safety. that's right, correct. Anybody yeah. can do a fake safety. I don't know if he always takes his car to Benson. Right, I don't think Benson's would do fake safeties. No. So. All right. I just don't trust nobody today. I hear you. It's always frustrating when you, you know, you I get. Spent, I spent ten thousand dollars. I saved this money mm -hmm. to get a car, a half decent car, and it was a day of my birthday. I was so proud of it, picking up this car, and this is what I get. No, I hear this you. This is my birthday gift. 
No more. No more. I'm tired of people.